Welcome once again. This is Dibian Wangu Chendo. We will be discussing about pouring away the marriage wine. Or you can say pouring away the traditional marriage palm wine. Have you ever taken your time to watch how uh, the church wedding is conducted? Well, there is this particular scene that normally comes to my mind. When the pastor uh, is wedding the man and the woman, the pastor will say, will you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? The man will say, yes, I do. They will ask the woman the same question. Do you take this uh, man to be your lawful wedded wife? The woman will respond, yes, I do. This automatically marks the beginning of the marriage ceremony. It's really that simple question and answer that determines whether there is a union or not. If either of the partners says no or refuse to answer, then there will be no marriage. So in this case, my dear, before men and spirit, you can say that you are already married. Am I making sense? Now, let's turn the scenario. Let's turn it upside down as regards to pouring away the marriage palm wine. The pastor will ask, will you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? The man will say no. This automatically marks the end of the marriage ceremony. It is really that simple question and answer that determines whether there is a union or not. If either of the partners says no or refuse to answer, then there will be no marriage. I hope you understand because I turned it upside down for you to reflect the scenario of how it will be when a man is giving uh, when a woman has given a man a cup of palm wine and he pours it away without even taking a sip or drinking it. We can naturally say that the man says he does not accept the woman as his wife. That is what you do when you pour away your marriage palm wine during the traditional Ibangu in Ali Ibu. No eat today and no peace. Why are people so scared that they cannot drink their palm wine? Why are they so scared? This is what is giving me cause for concern. The, that question, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, was asked in the European traditional marriage system, tagged white wedding. I hope our people is aware of this. It is another people's culture that you practice in the name of uh, church wedding or white wedding. It's exactly what we ask in the Igbo traditional system, tagged a bamboo with a cup of wine. The father sips and gives the cup of his blessings to his daughter in the presence of both families. This is the only time in his life, he will perform this right for her. And you, the man, and the woman who is naive and ignorant about your culture and tradition, will deliberately pour the palm wine away. Have you seen the beginning of your doom? Have you seen where you have invited all sorts of things to ruin your marriage? Tomorrow, if the woman starts complaining of being childless, domestic violence, uh, the man cheating, even the woman nagging, and so on and so forth, have you seen the genesis of the problem? If you live in apatia, because pouring away your palm wine the, uh, is a decider. You have decided that you are not married to that man. Ni ruchuku na mado na mo. Nandi na siali, your witnesses, because other members of the family that grace the occasion, they are all witnesses. 
I hope you understand. The father sits and gives the cup of blessing. So that palm wine is a cup of blessing. When it's given to the daughter in the presence of both families, this is the only time in the man's life, their father's life, that he will perform this right for her. And you take that cup of blessing and pour it away. I want to ask couples doing this in Anibu. Why are you afraid of your shadow? Why are you afraid of this lovely cup of palm wine? You know, the woman finds uh, her man, choosing man, sips and offers her palm wine. Or him, a way of asking him, do you take me to be your lawful wedded wife before men and spirits? And if the man drinks it, it means yes. If he fails to drink it, it means no. But then, the man responds by pouring away her palm wine onto the ground, that cup of blessing. Do you know what it signifies? Do you know the spiritual and physical meaning? It means, no, I reject you as a wife. And the light brain woman dances away happily, thinking she has married a husband. Yes. False uh, 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 pretense. You think you have defeated your enemies, that maybe the palm wine is poisoned, because that's the excuse they normally give. Eh? But the man, deep down, a subconscious part of him knows that he has not committed himself to this woman. Before Chuku, men and spirits, this subconscious part would eventually become conscious some years later when you start reaping from the fruit of pouring away your traditional marriage palm wine. When you open the door, for the evil ones to assess your marriage. When you start experiencing drawbacks, experiencing setbacks, when you complain that you lack blessing, when suddenly you complain that the woman you married today is no longer who you used to know, that the man you married today is no longer who you used to know, when children are not forthcoming, when a man loses his job, when all sorts of things start happening, don't blame yourself, don't blame the man, don't blame the woman. It is all an act of ignorance. You really need to take into cognizance that people plan for wedding. They don't actually plan for marriage. That is why. But know this today that Ibanku has a spiritual meaning. It has a spiritual connotation. Celebrating it in the midst of the two families involved, you are asking your Izumezu and Oramu from father's side and mother's side to come and bear witness. From both sides of the family, that is what it connotes. You are telling them to come that your daughter is getting married. Go with her and bless her marriage. Go with her and protect her. Go with her and fight for her. Go with her and multiply her. Go with her and make her blossom flourish. Let her marriage be a marriage of grace, a marriage of glory, from glory to glory. But we don't know. Because we have had so many tales. Why is it that people who hate our culture finally succeeded in demonizing it? Yes. This is what is happening. They target every part of our culture and tradition and demonize it. Why? All this started from the church, where you see them, they make mockery of our traditional marriage. Most of our brothers and sisters that are uh, living in every nook and cranny of the country or outside the country, you see them during the traditional marriage, right? Some don't even bother to come home. To know the source, to know the root, to know the family where they are marrying into or where they are marrying from. They, uh, they think it's safe to just meet anybody in the city. Then you get married to her and you conduct a facade of uh, a traditional marriage. 
using um, what is it called wine, juice, five for life. So of course, it's a great abomination. If you truly understand that the Igbo is a spiritual race, I don't think you will bastardize your tradition and your culture. Take for instance the Yorubas. Everything about their culture and tradition, they share it so much. Take a look at their traditional marriage. Do you see how beautiful it is? Do you see the part where the parents uh, come to ask for the girls and the marriage? Do you see the processes where the man prostrates with his friends and family, the father and the mother, because they want to get married? Do you see all the beautiful steps during those traditional marriage rites? Why can't we uphold our own? You want to be accepted by all by jettisoning your culture and tradition. You want to be accepted by other tribes, even if it means denouncing your own culture and tradition. It is only in Igbo land that I see a man and a woman that are getting married put on um, native attire of other people from other tribes because they believe in one Nigeria. I do not say don't believe in one Nigeria, but are you conscious? Are you really conscious? Do you really know what you are doing? I thought when you say traditional marriage, you are meant to represent yourself as a true born, as a true Igbo son of the soil or daughter of the soil. You are meant to wear your traditional attire the one that is, uh, uh, let me just use this phrase, made in Igbo land. Even if it's not made in Igbo land, let it depict the representation of who you are. Only Igbo. One for Igbo. But you see how people dressing like Yorubas during their traditional marriage. And everybody is joyful, screaming, shouting up and down. Some dress in Fulani attire. Where have you seen these other tribes wear your own attire during their traditional marriage? This is a pertinent question that I'm asking. I want to ask this question. Why do we easily get carried away? Why don't we protect our culture and tradition? Why can't we stand for it? Why must we demonize it? Some don't even uh, conduct traditional marriage anymore because of imported Christian religion. They will tell you, oh, my pastor said this is demonic. Oh, even Idris says demonic. Ogo Malobe Ogo is demonic. Ibu Okukonyo is demonic. Why? We really need to think. We really need to reflect. We really need to uh, ponder on this anomaly in our society. Why would you pour away your traditional marriage palm wine in the first place? If you don't trust the family you are marrying into, if you don't trust your father-in-law to be, if you don't trust them, why would you pour it away why will you be so ignorant and you misbehave? Do you know the spiritual connotation of pouring away your traditional marriage palm wine? Do you know? Do you know you have disappointed your ancestors, your NDJ, when you do that? Do you know that you have said that you do not want to marry that woman when you pour it away? And our women that aid and abet this atrocity, are you normal? Are you really a true born? Ibu wada ibo. Ibu hadi ibo. If you know yourself and you are conscious about yourself, conscious about your tradition and culture, about your spirituality, I don't think you will misbehave this way. I don't think you will support that your husband pull away the traditional marriage palm wine. It is an abomination. It is a taboo. 
before the gods of the land, before your ancestors, even before your chi, before your spiritual guide, because everything we do here is spiritual. I continuously say this, that Igbos are a spiritual race, a highly spiritual tribe. You really need to be careful. Do you know you have passed judgment on yourself when you pour, pour it away on our journey? A journey of your place. Nanya and Idiaso will not bless that marriage. A journey, Ben Negima, Ben Nagi, will not bless that marriage when you pour it away. I want you to know the implication. The ancestors made it clear that the wine represents the question Will you take this woman to be your wife? So for you to drink it is to accept. To refuse to drink is to reject. You see now, pouring away your traditional marriage by wine means rejection. You are rejecting the woman. And the message is clear. If your husband did not drink your wine, he has not committed to you spiritually. He is a free man and you have no hold over him. He did not say, yes, I do. That is when you start screaming and shouting, he's cheating on me. He has shy chick. He has baby mama. When you have opened the window, you have opened the door, opened everywhere. Yeah? Why are you not screaming? When if it may be from the beginning, Mila Bagono Piobogro. How do you repair this damage? Is it out of ignorance? Why are you afraid? Why would you encourage your husband to do that? The implication is that he rejected you when he pours it away. He is a free man. Once you know this, you know peace. If you like, continue to speak uh, grammar up and down or that you are enlightened, you are educated. This is a deep spiritual matter. Let me tell you what the ancestor says about the wine. The spiritual implication of pouring away your palm wine, because palm wine in all cultures is the only liquid from plants used to come in with the spirit, just as blood is used from animals. Note that a type of wine is also called spirit. Even in the allegory of the Bible, wine is key in deep spiritual rites like the Catholic Eucharist. It is due to the sacred nature of the wine, especially palm, palm tree, hmm? palm wine, palm tree wine, and its deep positive spiritual rules that the celebration is called Ebuampu or Ibumanya. This is why the bride offer umpu to the groom. It is the soul of the assembly. While the bride prize connects both families physically, the wine with which the bride's father prays is sprinkled to the ground and then he hands his daughter. Handing over the this daughter means connection, connecting both families spiritually. Giving the daughter a cup of pawa is giving out blessing. So why the bride prize connects both families physically, the palm wine with which the bride's father prays is sprinkled to the ground. And then he hands his daughter and connects both families spiritually. Have you seen it? That Ibanku is highly spiritual. I pity those who denigrate it, who say it's an AKE custom, who say it doesn't matter, who stay in Kafanchan and do their traditional marriage. Even if it is because of distance, please place an order for that palm wine. It has spiritual connotation. Palm wine alone, the traditional palm wine, has a blessing of its own, spiritual blessing. Once you tap from the palm wine tree, 
Do you even know the spiritual meaning of palm wine, uh, of palm tree? Do you know what it stands for in the spirit? It is multipurpose. It has a lot of spiritual function. But that is not what we are in uh, to talk about today. We are talking about the produce gotten from it, palm wine. You see, this process shows a lot of things. It is very simple, but an extremely uh, powerful rite that is designed to, number one, protect the woman in her husband's land. This is why any aggrieved woman in marriage will call once, eh? and the spirit from their father's land will answer seven times. If a mebegi does, if your, your husband drinks your palm wine, if a mebegi, you will call and call upon the spirits of your land. They will come and they will answer you. Because they are the ones that will protect you. It is a spiritual ritual that is going on. It won't be. 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 You, the woman, know this today that any man pouring that in away on the ground, you are finished, you are doomed. Because if you have problem, there is no where your spiritual guy will back you up from your maternal place. They will never, even from your maternal side, they will never back you up in that your husband's house. Because you did not complete the marriage right. Pouring away the palm wine is a rejection. You allow your husband to do that, to put you into trouble. But if you do it, it will protect you, the woman, in your husband's land. So if there is anything, any problem of any sort, be it you are looking for blessing or whatever, your victory, just walk one more balloon and they will answer you. Number two, to ensure that the blessings from the woman's heritage goes with her, and her husband, your husband, have to drink the marriage palm wine. He's not meant to pour it away. If he pours it away, he has discarded all those blessings and opened the edge for the serpent to bite, according to imported religion. Know this today and no peace, because I know that people listening to me, they are not only uh, uh, the nani adherents, they are also Christians. Pentecostalists, a lot of people from different walks of life. You need to know your culture, know your tradition. How can you demonize what you don't even bother to make research to investigate about? Just by assumption. Because somebody somewhere came to your country and told you that things you do are demonic and fetish. And you believe Number three, the father and his people by this act also offers the blessings of the palm tree to the marriage, meaning long life and prosperity, all round fruitfulness, for nothing in palm tree is useless. You see, when I told you that the palm tree is spiritual. So for your father-in-law to give you that cup of palm wine, while his people are watching. This art alone means he is blessing your marriage. For your marriage to be durable, to last long. For it to be filled with love, happiness, harmony, bliss, and all other uh, things you can imagine. Eh? For you, the wife, to be fertile, everything, even your husband, for everything he does, to blossom, to flourish, 